hi everyone welcome back again to our youtube channel in this video we will study about uh, kirchhoff's voltage law that is kvl and also look at the different prospect of kvl we'll try to connect with the first law of thermodynamics that is law of conservation of energy at the end of the lecture we we'll look at few examples on it so to begin with let's talk about what is kvl kvl is it states that the voltage the sum of the voltage around a closed loop is zero so the algebraic sum of the voltage around a closed loop is zero that implies sigma of vi from i equals 1 to n equals zero so this is mathematical form of kvl why does the sum of currents around some of the voltages around the closed loop is zero we'll try to understand the underlying concept behind it so to understand that let's first try to understand the flow of current in the circuit so when a current flows in the circuit it is basically the flow of charge right and to when charge flows from one point to another there must be some work done by it so who does the work here the work is done by the battery so because battery produces the electric field which accelerates the electrons from negative terminal towards the positive terminal and thereby the current flows from conventional current flows from positive to negative terminal now to move the charge from this point let's say a or o and coming back again at the o the net sum of the voltage must be zero that is nothing but kvl right now let's say point consider a charge q that flows from here goes via these two resistors and comes back again at this point so now to move this charge from one point to another there must be some work done and that work is done by the battery so as we know that if you try to reconnect the memory from school days we studied about work energy theorem and we know that to move a charge from one point to another there must be some work done and work is nothing but force into displacement it is basically dot product of force and displacement d is the net displacement of the charge so now when we move from from charge from here to here there is some work done then again from here to here there is some uh, some more work is done so the net what is the net work done to move the point charge from here and coming back again to this point so if you know the net displacement of the charge while going around a loop is zero even though work is done there is some positive work some negative work okay but the net work done the net displacement of the charge around the closed loop is zero so if you put it in this formula the force displacement vector goes to zero because the net displacement around the closed loop by charge is zero therefore the work done is zero and we know that the electric potential is nothing but work done by electric field to move the charge from point a to b that is electric potential v okay so so this would be zero that is why the net voltage the net sum of the voltage around a closed loop is zero so hope you understand the concept of kvl that states that the voltage around a closed loop is zero sum of the voltage indeed so that's all about the kvl fundamental concept now we'll try to connect uh, the kvl with the law of thermodynamics that is law of conservation of energy to understand it further let's see how the charge flow from one point to another as the charge moves from here and it passes through this resistor what happens the charge is having some kind of potential energy when it leaves the battery now as it reaches at this point the the property of resistor is to resist it basically resists the flow of charge or the flow of current so during that as it tries to resist the potential energy that this charge plus q is carrying will be lost some amount of not all the energy but some amount of energy would be lost and that lost energy is basically uh, these elect electrons or the ions in the resistor dissipates those energy in the form of heat amount of potential energy is lost at r1 so thereby there is some drop at this point in the energy now further going ahead it will there will be certain drop at resistor r2 as well so at r1 there will be some drop in the voltage okay so if we say r1 the direction of current is like this 
so as the charge flows positive charge will flow from here to there there will be some drop and the drop can be written as voltage v1 so let's write down the kvl if you expand it it is basically the voltage supplied by the battery then the voltage at r1 vr1 plus vr2 equals 0 okay so there is some amount of loss of the energy in uh, that the charge plus q is carrying therefore we can write down here minus v1 is equal to vr1 so there is drop in the voltage here that's why let's say that drop is v1 so negative sign is written similarly vr2 equals minus v2 because the charge will further lose some amount of potential energy here in the form of heat which is dissipated by the resistor the voltage is nothing but energy per unit charge the other way to write the voltage right so it is so if i write one volt it is basically one joule of energy divided by one coulomb so if the voltage drop is more the amount of the energy lost would be more now the vr2 is minus v2 so then we can apply now again we also have to look at the battery so when we when the charge reaches to the battery finally near the battery this negative terminal of the battery it moves from negative to positive and the direction of current is like this so the charge is flowing like this the flow of charge is represented by the direction of current okay so since the direction of current is clockwise therefore the charge will move from negative to positive so while in the battery when it passes through negative terminal to positive terminal the voltage increases and thereby we have to write the voltage across the battery that let's say vb is nothing but plus v so if you put all these three here then finally we can write the kvl equation for this circuit that is plus v minus vr1 is minus v1 and vr2 is minus v v2 equals 0 so that is equal to v equals v1 plus v2 so another way to look at this equation is v is the voltage supplied by the battery and v1 and v2 are the drops the voltage that drops through the resistors so supplied voltage drops across r1 and r2 so the net voltage is zero as a whole now before we go into the problems on kvl let's understand the sign convention of resistors and battery with the flow of charge so sign convention is important because if we know the sign convention properly we can apply the kvl effectively to solve any problems on kvl so the first step is find out the direction of current if it is not given assign the direction of current okay the step one is the direction of current so let's say we have a resistor r and the direction of current is like this let's say a and b so in this direction when the voltage as we know that the voltage drops in the direction of current so the va would be more than vb okay so as it goes through the resistor it drops thereby we'll write it so in the direction of current vol voltage drops so we'll write it as plus and minus when we write the kvl across this it would be minus v okay but let's say now change the direction of current if the direction of current is like this and a is at higher potential and b is at lower potential then we'll write it as plus v okay because here we are going from less potential to higher potential so the charge is bas basically gaining some energy so the, the energy of the charge is increasing thereby we can say plus v so what we need to remember is whenever you move plus to minus it is minus minus v but minus to plus it is plus v these are the two conditions you might get in in case of uh, when we solve kvl apply kvl now let's talk about battery so if you see a battery and the voltage is v and the, the flow of current is like this so in the direction of current it is minus to plus so we'll write it plus v now if let's change the polarity keeping the 
current same or change the direction of current let the polarity be same okay now in this case we'll write minus v because charge is moving from a higher potential to lower potential even though it's a battery the, the in in this case you can say current is sinking the current is going into the supply so basically the supply is sinking the current it's taking the current into it thereby the drop it, it drops the potential so the charge the energy of the charge decreases when the current goes into the battery or cell thereby minus v here the energy of charge increases as it moves from negative to positive terminal of the battery so what decides the basically positive and negative voltage is the direction of current so that's all about kvl uh, sign convention now we'll try to look at a couple of questions based on this so let's write down the kvl equation for this and find out the current flowing in the circuit the question is find out the current flowing in the circuit to to find out the current let's apply the kvl the us let current let's say a given current direction is this way and we need to find out the current if the direction of current is not given we can assign the direction of current by ourselves okay so to the first step is look at the battery so the batteries or the cells already have signs right the positive and negative terminal so we need to assign the polarity to all these resistors okay so what we know the in the direction of current potential drops so for to 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 how to represent the drop in the potential right plus to minus the drop in potential is basically when the charge flows from higher potential to lower potential because there is loss loss in the energy of the charge the potential energy of the charge so plus to minus then since the direction of current is like this so plus to minus here it's like this so plus to minus now we have assigned the polarity to all the res resistors and the battery the next step is to write down the kvl so sigma vi from i equals 1 to how many are there here two three supply voltage and two resistors so 3 plus 2 5 i equals 1 5 0 so v1 is the voltage across this so let's say it here minus 2 plus so plus 1 so what we need to remember is whenever you move minus to plus it is plus plus to minus it is minus so whenever you move minus to plus it is plus v and plus to minus it is minus v and this works well irrespective of the battery or the resistor so using this we'll apply the kvl write down the kvl equation for this and why why have why why so because minus to minus minus to plus the charge basically attains it gains the potential energy and thereby plus v plus to minus it loses the energy and thereby minus voltage it drops in the potential so minus to plus here we'll start from this point and come back again to this point so minus to plus is plus so plus one volt now plus to minus is minus so minus the voltage across 10 ohm let's say and we up so v equals i into r so the current is i into r is 10 now minus again plus to minus which is minus 2 volt then here minus 2 plus so plus so minus 2 plus is plus so plus 3 volt and here plus 2 minus that is minus times i into r which is voltage as per the ohm's law okay that is equals zero now let's solve it so plus one minus two and plus three so how much three plus one four minus two two so two then two minus twenty i equals zero so this will give us i equals two divided by twenty which is nothing but 0 0.1 amperes so the current that flows in the circuit is 0 0.1 amperes so that's all about uh, kvl along with one example we have studied about in this lecture in the next lecture we'll try to do more problems on on kvl thank you for watching